Hello friends, welcome to Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain function of each port of 8051 microcontroller. So let's start the video. The IO ports are used to interface with the outside world. So if you want to connect a microcontroller to some sensors, keyboard, uh, LED, LCD screens, etc. In that case, we generally use the ports and 8051 microcontroller has four ports and they are named as port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. In this video, we will see the function of all these ports. As all these ports are of 8 bits, we can use them parallelly. So, we can say that they are, are the parallel ports and these parallel ports can be used to interface all data converters means uh, data converters such as ADCs and DAC also they are used to connect display devices such as LEDs and LCD apart from this port can be used serially also and bitwise also pin configuration that is whether it is to be configured as an input or output depends on the logic state. If you want to configure microcontroller as output then logic 0 should be sent to the latch and if you send logic 0 then it will work as output and if you send logic 1 to the latches in that case microcontroller works as a input port. So, uh, if we send a high signal that is uh, some say 5 volts there, in that case the voltage at appropriate pin will be 5 volts. So, simply here remember that if we send 0 to the latches of the 8051 ports means if we send 0 to the pins of 8051 ports then it works as a output and if one is set then it works as a input by default the ports are acting as an output ports so let's see the function of each port individually the first one is port 0 and port 2 note here that port 2 and port 0 both can function as function as an io ports so the first function will be they works as a input or output ports but apart from this if external memory is connected to the ports we can connect external memory to port 0 and port 2 simultaneously in that case port 0 works as a lower order address lines and port 2 works for the higher order address line here lower order addresses like address lines means pin number a0 to a7 and higher order that is higher byte means a8 to a15 so we can say that here that port 0 are having eight lines which works as a lower order and port 2 also having eight lines which works as a higher order address lines apart from this port 0 can works as a data lines also once address is fixed or we can say that once address is latched there in the next machine cycle port 0 works as a data lines also also note the, that physical uh, as per the physical uh, construction port 0 do not have built in or we can say that internal pull up register connected to it so directly 5 volt supply is given to the input and no internal pull up register is existing over here so if you want to connect use it as an output input output ports in that case external pull up register are connected likewise in this way you can apply here 5 volts through this external pull up register and actually it has some consequences as it do not have pull up register we can say that if its pin of the port is configured as an input then it acts as a float means if we configure it as an input port then it works as a float in such a 
such an input has unlimited input resistance and uncertain potential note here that it will have unlimited input resistance because this input resistance will be very very high and it will directly depends on the internal circuit of the latch also it do not have the fixed potential here uncertain potential will exist over there and when this pin configured as a output in that case it acts as an open drain so by applying logic 0 to port b the appropriate pin will be connected to ground if we apply here 0 whether it uh, whether we have connected external pull up register or not here if we apply 0 then it, then it is connected to ground and if we apply logic 1 then external output will keep on flowing that's why it, we have written here that it will work as a float in order to apply logic 1 that is uh, 5 volts on this pin it is necessary to build an external pull up register so if you want to use it as an io ports in that case external pull up register is required that was the case of port 0 only now if it, we are using port 0 only for the connection of the external memory that is if our external memory is of only 8 bit in that case port 0 will be used and we should not use port 2 at that time because it will automatically work as an uh, as a memory connector and uh, further this port cannot be work as an io port there is no need to add external pull up register also note that if we are using uh, port 0 for the external memory in that case no pull up register should be connected means if external memory is used here this pull up registers are not used now let's see the function of port 1 the port 1 ha is having very very simple function it uh, do not work as any alternative function it only works as an io ports and it has pull up register built in so we can say here that internal pull up register exists here and also note that this is the pin structure for port 1 port 2 and port 3 because port 0 is the only port where pull up register does not exist but in that case in case of port 1 port 2 and port 3 pull up register exists now let's see the function of port 3 that is the last port this is the function here apart from the input output again port 3 each pin of port 3 can works as an alternate function and this each pin can work individually also so we can send signal over here bitwise and we can control all this in order to use this alternative function logic one must be applied to the appropriate pin so if you want to use its alternative function in that case send one here and it will work now uh, note here that p3.0 is rxd and 3.1 is txd here they, these two pins are used for the serial communication here rxd is the serial input data and txd is the serial output data for 8051 microcontroller int0 and int1 these are the two external interrupt signal used by the microcontroller generally if you want to uh, uh, stop the uh, Current, currently going process of 8051 microcontroller in that case generally this interrupt signals are used also this t0 and t1 are the interrupt signal but these are the external internal uh, the, these are the interrupt signal for the timers so we can say that they are the external timer 0 clock and external timer 1 Clock. Apart from this, again, it is it are it is having two different uh, signals. That is W R, that is write, and R D, that is nothing but read signal. So whenever the external memory is used, W R bar and R D bar, these two pins are used for the 
make external uh, memory read and write operations port 3 is also having the internal pull up resistance as previously stated so these were the functions of ports of microcontroller friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and share it with your friends thank you